Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Miami's looked good here in the early going. They've earned the top spot in the country, but earning it and keeping it are two entirely different things. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. Miami Stadium, home of the Hurricanes. It's time to put the nightlife of South Beach behind. It's time for football. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Number Both teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. Tries to get around the corner. Brought down at the 30-yard line. From their own 30-yard line. Second down. Decides to slide. I don't think we'll have time to get this playoff. And he's tackled at about the 49. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 39. Here we go! Quick throw, and he's got his receiver again. Tackle made around the 28-yard line. He's on the run. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. He's out of bounds at the 17. And that's their third first down of the drive. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. And they'll score. Quarterback just made that one look pretty simple. Well, oh, this quarterback isn't your average player. You got to be better tacklers in the open field. And, and I think that's really what they've stressed all week is tackling and gang tackling and getting to the football. Hard to get to guys and make tackles in space. Here's a run. Knocked out of bounds around the 43 yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43 yard line. And he tackles him hard at the 49. Nice blocking on the counter, and he was able to pick up around eight yards. And he's taken down at about the 33-yard line. That's a great tackle at the 25-yard line. Throw. I don't think he got anything on that. That play was designed to pick up a first down, but they didn't do it. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Brought down at the 23-yard line. Allison off the fake, and he's got all the time in the world. Throws it in a hurry. And down he goes at the six-yard line. Illegal touching. Offense. That penalty will move him back. An exciting first quarter comes to an end. The score here in Southern Florida is the ones. Seven, the Hurricanes, nothing. Still completed it. 
It's going to be fourth and inches after that long pickup on third down. Kicks away, and the field goal is good. Second and eight, ball on 34. Quickly, and he's got his man from their own 48 yard line. Second down. Hauls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. Makes it out to about the 26. He throws right. Oh, great catch. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. They've got their goal line sets on the field. This might be a good time for play action. Pitch play to the left. He's gobbled up in the backfield. That brings up third and goal. Ball on the four. They need to hurry. He's going to try and scramble. Ball is loose. Fumble. And no one can get it. It bounces out of bounds. Can the defense make a stop? Fourth down and goal to go. We're at the one-yard line. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. And he hits him hard at the one. Well, they decided to go for it, but the defense slammed the door on him. That's the definition of coming through when it matters most. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Up the middle for a nice game. He airs it out. Can't connect. Well, he must have hurried there because his receiver was wide open. From the 37-yard line. Second down. Going deep, lays it out there. Zips it to his receiver, touchdown. That was a beautiful pass and a nice catch. Well, this is one of those plays you just sit back and admire. The quarterback threw the ball perfectly. And again, the speed of the receiver is the difference in this play. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. Tackle made at the 27. That series left the offense scratching their heads a little. This offense just torched the defense through the air with a great passing attack on their last drive. As you can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. They bring him down. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He wants it all going long. Incomplete. One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. And this one's going to get intercepted. As they head to the locker rooms, this one is far from over. The score here in Southern Florida is the Ones, 14, the Hurricanes, 3. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. There's no question you'd rather be up by two scores as opposed to being down by two scores. I mean, David, I totally, That was an easy answer, look, yes. I, I totally get that. But I think there is a mindset there that when you have that two-score lead, you're trying to protect something. You don't want to give it up. And if you allow the other team to get close, then, then things can get tied on you. Can a two-score edge sometimes be a little bit dangerous just in terms of mindset? 
I think mindset and also with coaches. A lot of times you see coaches, they get less aggressive. You know, especially on the defensive side of the football, when you get up two scores and you had so much success blitzing the first half and applying pressure, now you're not as comfortable leaving out guys on an island playing man to man and giving up play big plays. Yeah. So I think you got to make sure that you continue to do what you were doing. Don't make those big mistakes, but also don't stray away from the game plan. Right now, what, it, what you've implemented has worked. Continue to do it. That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Red and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And he throws right away. And he's taken down at the 48-yard line. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 48. They'll spread the field with five wide. Throws it into coverage, and it's intercepted. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 45. They get to the quarterback, and now the ball is loose. At the 30. To the 10. And he will score. It was a rough road on their last drive as the fumble led to a touchdown. I know as a quarterback, it's always hard to watch the defense score a touchdown on you. But it was always a reminder to take extra care of the football. Got the corner. He goes out of bounds at about the 29-yard line. Makes it to the 37. Hands it to the back. Nice gain as he works the right side. And he's knocked out immediately after the catch. This is the eighth play of the drive. There's a strike complete. He'll take it all away for the touchdown. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Passes left, gets it out to the halfback. Inside the 30, the 10. He's all the way home. Touchdown. Play fake, looking to run. And he shoved out of bounds at the 20-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Give to the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. Quick strike to the receiver. Brought down at the 41-yard line. First and 10, ball on the 41. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. Second and nine, ball on the 28. Caught with room to work. Tackle made at the 19 yard line. They try to run up the middle, but met in the backfield. A great game so far, and it looks like it'll be decided in the fourth. 
The score here in Southern Florida is the ones 21, the Hurricanes 17. Welcome back to the action, fourth quarter. This one will decide it. Tight ball game through three. And down he goes at the six yard line. He scrambled, and they make the stop around the one-yard line. Big third and goal. Can the defense stop him? The ball pops free. It's picked up by the defense. And he hits him hard at the four. Not a good time to fumble the football. And that guy feels horrible about it. He's got to forget about it. Go out there and play hard the next time they hit the field. So a big momentum shift could be in the making here as we take a look at the possible fumble. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after some discussion, the call on the field is reversed. So the offense will stay on the field. It's fourth down from the two. Touchdown, and now they're in front. Nice run and a score by the halfback. And a nice call by the coach there. Just give it to your main man anytime you're near the goal line. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese. The Spartans were ranked number two. After that performance, how far will they fall? And for USF, they've won two straight. In other games, off to LA we go. Let's take yet another peek at this game. And for Texas, we might have an upset percolating in this one. Paul's got a hose for an arm, and already he's tossed two scoring strikes. The Trojans have the lead by 12, midway through the fourth quarter. From their own 30-yard line, it's second down. Makes the grab, and he's got the first. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on the 44-yard line. He's scrambling. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Slides down to the ground. From the 48-yard line, it's first down. He's taken down around the 48-yard line. tries to buy some time he rolls out to the right and he has it on the corner he's under some heat he steps out at the 29 yard line first down 10 to go ball on the 29 yard line here's the give he's at the 20 inside the 10 They'll bring him down at the three. And he busted that one wide open. On defense, you can't afford to give up big runs like that. That makes it first and goal. And this play is number eight on the drive. Less than three minutes in the game. He's in. Touchdown. And they take the lead. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Tackle right around the 28-yard line. Just under two minutes in the game. Darts it to the left. And he stays in bounds and he hauls in a big one. Taken 
down at about the 31. Dumps it complete over the middle. That's a great tackle at the 22. Fires out to his wideout. And that sets them up for the first and goal. And he throws it away. Under a minute left. Quick throw, and he's got his man again. The defense calls a timeout. You know, this veteran wide receiver is not always easy to stop, so that's a good job here by the defense to slow him down. Touchdown, and that's going to give him the lead. The Hurricanes are so confident every time they hand this kid the football that he's going to do something special. Well, there's a reason he's the go-to man, and, and here, with everything at stake, he's able to deliver for them. Miami is lining up to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. Late in the fourth quarter in a one-possession game, and poise is what it's all about here. Who's going to have it and who will He's going to try and scramble. It's second and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. He has some room. He's pushed out of bounds at the 37th. from their own 37-yard line. It's second down. Intercepted, and I think I can hear the fat lady singing. Brought down, around the 40-yard line. The Hurricanes know that they have to enjoy this guy while they've got him because somewhere down the line he's going to be at the next level. Well, that'll definitely be in his future, but for now he needs to sit back and just enjoy this performance and, and really the play caller, the quarterback, the offensive line, the receivers, the entire group as, as, as just a whole should feel good about their performance. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.